Hello everybody, this is Paula from Ortho Eval Pal and I have with me Romeo today. Romeo is 69 years old and he comes to us because he is starting to lose function in his right arm and he wants to continue to work. He's a truck driver but having a difficult time reaching, starting to develop a significant amount of pain. Now, a couple of years ago, uh, underwent, uh, he had an ATV injury five, six years ago, an ATV injury, they reconstructed his uh, AC joint and since then has really been having trouble trying to get function back but in the last year or two it's really been bad. He's also undergone cervical spine surgery for some central canal and um, foraminal stenosis mostly on the left side um, but today uh, really his, his problem is pain and loss of function in the shoulder so I want you just to observe right now what he looks like obviously you can see there is no deltoid whatsoever okay the deltoid is completely atrophied a good sign that he's had an axillary nerve injury and then what I want to show you next is his active range of motion then I'll go through some passive range of motion and just talk about a couple other things um, I did check his reflexes and his reflexes are fine here okay C5, C6 and C7 are perfectly fine he's not hyper reflexive I therefore checked his knees and his Achilles. He's not hyperreflexive there either. He has a negative Babinski sign and also has a negative Hoffman sign. So that's telling me that the central cord should be fine. He doesn't have any upper motor neuron lesion going on that is contributing to this. So the first thing I'd like you to do, Romeo, is try to lift your arms up like this. And if this one goes all the way, go ahead and lift it. Okay, and back down. All right, now I'd like you to lift your arms up to the side. As high as you can go, this one will go. Good, that's it and back down and sorry there you go he has a lot of arthritis in that arm yeah. and without using this arm can you reach for your head <clears throat> without using that arm that's as far as it goes right there okay and back down good you can rest so if you come around this way you'll notice the significant atrophy in the in the uh, deltoids but also notice this, I don't know if you can see this, but if you can lift your arm out to the side, Romeo, he has significant instability of his periscapular muscles, he has some winging of the scapula, and very likely a long thoracic nerve palsy also. So I'll have you back to the front, Sid, and one of the things that you'll notice is that he does offer some resistance to his rotator cuff, so I'd like you to hold that arm there, don't let me push it in. He gives me a little bit of resistance there, now pull it in toward your belly. Hold it there. It's a little bit weak there. And he also offers a little bit of abduction. So lift your arm out to the side a little bit. And he does give me a little. So it seems like his rotator cuff is intact. But it's just having such a hard time functioning because it's not at a good length, number one, because his scapula is completely out of position. And his deltoids are not there to help, you know, function. So go ahead and rest that arm. So what we're going to do with him is um, we evaluated his neck, we went through neck range of motion, he had no reproduction of his, of his symptoms, he has no signs of an upper motor neuron lesion, but I think he definitely has some uh, problem with the long thoracic nerve, old injury to the axillary nerve, uh, I think that it would be an appro appropriate at this time to uh, get an EMG to see if we can isolate these uh, nerves a little bit better. and. Um, see if there's anything we can do for his function. His pain, I think, is coming from severe glenohumeral arthritis, so he potentially could be a candidate for a joint replacement in the future to help decrease that joint pain, uh, but without a deltoid, that is certainly going to be a consideration on an orthopedic surgeon's part. Um, so uh, that's where we are. We're not going to try to range this guy's shoulder too much because he's going to have a lot of discomfort in the glenohumeral joint. I think we need to have a better diagnosis to see if there is anything causing this or if it is old ner nerve injury. Um, thank you.